Hello everybody and welcome to another reaction video and this is a reaction video with a difference we're not actually reacting to music per se um, if you caught the first half of it I'm doing a double header for Zornheim today um, because I just reacted to a track called Whom the Night Brings and I did this because I just got this um, which is Zorn, the Zornheim album and the accompanying um, accompanying graphic novel um, and I wanted to react to that music video before I actually listened to the album because when I get a new album I absolutely must listen to it um, so what I thought I'd do is thought I'd have a look through the um, album and the uh, graphic novel um, and see how it goes um, how, the, how this came to be was after I reacted to the first track, The Opposed, um, Zorn, the founder of the band, actually got into contact with me and, you know, told me a little bit of background information about the album, how it came to be, what the general themes of the album was, and um, it sounded really, really interesting, so I decided that I would buy a copy. And um, so, yeah, I, being me, I got a signed copy of the album and it comes in a, a nice little sort of A5 size box um, which you know is very nice but it's going to be a pain in the ass for me to find somewhere to put the damn thing because it's not going to fit in a CD rack is it? Anyway let's have a quick shifty of this and you know it's quite a nice little digipack all the signatures on there and you can tell that this isn't one of those sort of mass printed ones because you can sort of feel the texture of the um, signatures on there. It's very quite nice. And inside you've got like the the disc, which is very nice, and you've got this little booklet. Now, <clears throat> I was told that along with the tracks there are doctor's notes about each of the patients, or you know, the person to whom each track pertains. Um, so it's a neat little booklet there, and band photo there. Uh, and what have we got? Yeah, so here we go. Look, you've got the lyrics to the opposed down there, and right here is a um, you know the, the doctor's notes about the actual patient itself. Now I'm not going to read the whole thing out to you. Um, such like name Edward Van Reinhold, who was the subject of the video, age 32, and uh, the diagnosis Deprosopus self injurious behavior, suicidal, insane. Um, admission status permanently institutionalized and admitted by Dr. Bettelheim. And it goes on to detail. You know, like his early childhood and as an adolescence, um, like he was heir to a noble family, afflicted with a malignant growth covering the parietal and occipital portions of the skull, uh, which caused a cranial, uh, cranial, craniofacial duplication. So it's the demon head on the no, demon face on the back of his head. Um, uh, it then goes on to like the late adolescent uh, adolescence and then the um, current status uh, like uh, his musical endeavors continue to offer him some moderate moderation of relief uh, as his sole possession is his cello um as you as you see in the video you know like uh, throughout the video he's playing his cello and singing and he's trying to do that in order to make the voice in the back of his head shut up um, and they do this for each of the um, tracks like Silent God again has got its own one and where's the track I just reacted to yeah, Whom the Night Brings again it's got its own one and well I speculated in the uh, video for For Whom the Night Brings that it was told from the perspective of the family but it's actually just says narrator there so it's it's like almost like it was a folk tale being told by somebody. 
Yeah, and again here it says, you know, name Angelica Engel, which is actually the German word for angel. Um, yeah, diagnosis sleep paralysis, auditory and visual hallucinations. So they're actually believing that like the demons that are haunting her are just hallucinations and all in her mind. Whereas it seemed from the song that they were quite real. And again, it... Yeah, it says here, early childhood parent... Uh, patient claims her night terrors began during infancy. One of her first memories is of people coming out of her walls and ceiling at night trying to take her. Um, you know, it's it, it's a nice little thing to add, you know, because uh, when, when I react to tracks, I try and find out the story and the meaning behind the songs, and that's not an all, always an easy thing to find, and some people might not find it as easy to um, like discern the meanings behind songs, so it, it's a nice little extra thing to add, you know, to give the little the little sort of synopsis as to what the whole thing about the uh, the song is about. It's really quite a nice thing, and the overall um, packaging is really quite nice. It's it's good quality. It's, it's very very nice very very nice and I can't wait to actually listen to this um, now when I when I um, spoke to Z uh, Zorn and I ordered this he said it um, you know as a, as a thank you for reacting to the video and helping him out uh, you know trying to get the word of the band out he'd throw in a couple of extra things and I got this little thing which I initially thought was a badge but it turns out it's a key ring with a bottle opener on the back which is quite nice. Um, a couple of stickers. And yeah, European Tour Part 1 2018. That's quite nice. I wonder if at any point they'll um, be in the UK when. Oh, look, London, England. Oh, 14th of June. Missed that one. It's a shame. And there's like information about the. Um, CD and where you can get it from. And uh, what's this? And this is other stuff from their music label advertising other bands, um, as you tend to get in certain CDs. More of the same. Um, might have to actually check out some of these bands as well, see what I can find. And yeah, more of them. Um, so yeah, that's quite nice. But let's get to the bit that I'm really, uh, you know, the other bit, you know, it's a graphic novel now, it's a 55 page graphic novel, I've not actually looked at this, it's, it actually feels really quite good, you know, it's, um, it's actually got stapled spine and everything, and let's have a quick look, right, so here we've got, like, the table of contents as it were um, the opposed silent god trifecta of horrors whom the night brings decessit uh, vita petrus and hestia um, so that's what one two three four five six that's six of the six of the nine tracks so there's three of the tracks that aren't actually covered in this book as far as I can understand um, the actual cover artwork is quite nice quite like it and you know how many bands do you know have their own graphic novel to accompany a CD you know you know th they've gone through a lot of effort to explain the story behind each of the tr uh, you know behind the music, so you know, it's it's something I really, really like about this. And um, yeah, it goes straight into it. it goes into the the approach. The actual um, artwork itself is quite nice. It's it's not like it's not like overly done. You know, they're not trying to make it look amazing. You know, it's you, you get some of these graphic novels where it looks like they've hired a 
a world class artist to illustrate it. You know, it's a goddamn comic book essentially. You know, stop being so pretentious. Um. So yeah, this is essentially it's telling the story of the opposed, and you know, it's actually gone back to the beginning as to who he actually was. You know, I can't see it. You know, who he actually was, like a noble person. You know, um, at first glance, people always thought I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth, or they would see it as a noble bloodline and my deceptive beauty. You know, so he sounds a bit full of himself as well, to be honest. But um, and it goes on to you know when they would be confronted with the eyes of the face on the back of my head staring at them the face of dark of my dark twin that never slept so uh, in the first video I reacted to the opposed um, I suggested that maybe it was like um, possibly like a metaphor for like the demons in his head and he was doing anything he could to um, make them go away but it actually turns out it's a an evil sort of deformed twin that's you know it's it's almost like a um, not so much a uh, conjoined twin but it's like those um, you know those medical cases where you see uh, children that actually have like an extra limb or two or you know they've got a tumour inside themselves which is actually what would have been a twin that was formed in the room so it's essentially like that and it's you know it goes on to illustrate like you know he uses the music to try and calm himself and quiet himself and uh, you know then he's like you know I tried to cut the thing off the back of my head the um, staff at the hospital tried to stop me and you know he was successful in cutting the um, head, uh, the face off the back of his head and you know he thought that that would make it go away and because of you know what he was going through because he was batshit crazy or they thought he was batshit crazy uh, the f his family sort of disowned him and um, thing and then the in the video there was that moment where he like he like had the demon face whilst he was playing his cello and you know I I thought it was a little bit funny because it reminded me of the evil dead but it says here you know after cutting the face off the back of his head it was quiet for a little while but then the face that was on the back of his head started growing over his real face um, it says here um, as time withered away my face slowly started to change it was almost like the face I once carved off the back of my head was growing back, but this time it was in the front over my own face. You know. And you know, I, I love the artwork that's in this. It's really quite impressive. You know. I and it's like I said, it's a really good quality, you know, um graphic novel. I keep calling it a comic book, you know, essentially comic book graphic novel. They're essentially the same thing, just people say graphic novel because they don't want to sound like nerds or children. I personally don't care. But, um, yeah, it's a very, very, very nice... Oh, look, there we go. There's the... Um, there's the track I just listened to, Whom the, Whom the Night Brings. Oh, well, they, you know, there you go, kind of explains it there. Um, as the night terrors persisted, the parents uh, feared for the well-being of their daughter and sought out religious assistance. So I was kind of right, you know, she went to seek religious assistance. Um, she was taken under the wing of the church cantor, or, well, I said pastor, didn't I? So it's pretty much the same thing. And, again, learning... Um, teaching her to play the church organ and the harpsichord so once again using music to try and quell the demons as it were um, comfort was not to last as in her mid-teens the cantor fell terminally ill and died this you know these are actually images that were used in the video um, due to her mentorship with the cantor the church immediately asked Angelica to take over the newly vacated role so she became the cantor 
and she accepted on the condition that she got to live in the church obviously she was thinking like if she lived in the church you know it would keep the demons away um, yeah uh, de devotion she hoped would rid her of the incubi all of whom continued to haunt her with no intention of leaving her in peace you know and that that image that one that one was actually in the video as well and it is a fantastic piece of artwork absolutely brilliant um, and yeah, in her early 20s the visits had intensified the nightly visits caused her devotion to wane feeling God had betrayed her Angelica denounced her faith uh, she would find another way without God's help which is obviously yeah a possibility of salvation eventually presented itself in the form of Dr. Bettelheim's dream research theories. Um, after several interviews and sessions together, her hope decayed into resignation to the idea that at the age of 26 she had no option but to commit herself to his care at the Zorn Zornheim Institution. And she remains there indefinitely. So it's pretty much like I said it was in the track you know she she thought that you know seeking out the um, guidance of God and stuff might help her rid herself of the demons and um, in the end she ended up having to commit herself but um, I wasn't here to talk about the actual songs I was here to talk about this and this like I said it's it's brilliant quality the artwork is fantastic and like I said I love the fact that they've gone to all the effort of illustrating and highlighting more about the songs, you know, to give you a better idea of what the songs are about. Um, and I absolutely highly recommend this to anybody, you know. And now I'm not getting paid to promote this. I'm, I'm really, really serious here. I really think this is very impressive stuff, you know. It's very good quality. And the artwork and the fact that they've they've put in the effort to do all this is amazing. And if, I mean, this is the first album, and they've put this much effort into it. You know how many how many people's first album has this much going for it? Yeah, you, know, you, you look at first albums by Empire. You look at first albums by Metallica or Megadeth or anybody else. I mean. The first album of Megadeth. I mean, okay, it was a different time period, but it's that. It's a plastic skull covered in tomato ketchup and mayonnaise. And then you've got this, which is a good quality digi pack with, you know, backgrounds to all the songs. And then, I mean, this this doesn't normally come with it. You can buy, you can only buy this through the band themselves. Um. I believe you can get it on their um, website, but you, you can't find it on like Amazon or anything like that. You can only get it from the band. Um, you know, you you never see a band a band's first album come with such detailed stories and backgrounds to each of the tracks. And you know, you, um, I mean, I know Megadeth have done a line of comic books and graphic novels to accompany their music, but that was done several years after they had established themselves, whereas Zornheim, um, still relatively unknown, I've done it for the first album and the quality is amazing. And I really, I really cannot praise how good this stuff is. It is a very, very impressive, um, you know, it's a it's a very impressive thing to own. It looked really good, and I'm gonna oh bloody hell, excuse me. So I'm gonna have to keep that uh, locked away, safe. Gonna keep it in its plastic bags. Yeah, especially having a signed CD, you know, I don't want that to get damaged. Um. So yeah, um, can't wait to listen to the album. Really excited for it, and. Um, yeah, I do recommend that everybody, well, you know, if you're particularly interested, check out more of their stuff. Um, I'm really looking forward to see what comes from them in the future. And I'd be very, very interested to see, you know, if they release another album, will it 
um, following the same vein as this one um, will there be the same level of detail in it because you know I really love the fact that they've gone through all that trouble to give that extra amount of detail I really really like it and um, yeah but uh, very impressed by all that I like it very very much very excited for it so um, we'll leave that as it is um, if anybody wants to suggest anything else for me to react to uh, by all means please do so um, I'm happy to react to anything um, I know I've mostly done music but I will you know I'll react to other videos you know may, uh, maybe talk about other things I don't know um, I have done one other reaction video that wasn't music and that was when I the first video I ever uploaded and that was Korean fire noodles you know <laughs> so I'm up, I'm up to reacting to different things um, so yeah we'll leave that as it is thank you very very much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye bye